national correspondent Ed Henry is tracking these developments. Ed. Good evening, Laura. North Korea officials declaring they are, in fact, examining plans to use medium to long range missiles to strike areas around Guam. It's home to thousands of U.S. military personnel and their families as both sides now brace for the possibility of war. That threat from the communist nation came just hours after the president, as you noted, reacted strongly to a blockbuster new report from U.S. intel officials revealing North Korea has been able to miniaturize nuclear warheads that can fit inside missiles, meaning North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un is on the verge of being able to reach major American cities, which sparked this threat from the president. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. He has been very threatening uh, beyond a normal statement. And as I said, they will be met with fire, fury, and frankly, power, the likes of which this world has never seen before. Thank you. Democrat Dianne Feinstein quickly charged this was bombastic rhetoric from the president that will only further isolate North Korea, adding she wants direct U.S.-North Korean talks to deal with this situation. That's not something.